Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, as we expected, Floyd Mayweather dominated Marcus Maidana in the rematch. It was not close. Understand, if you're going to fight Mayweather in a rematch, you've got to introduce a new dynamic, right? Because if you don't, and Mayweather has solved your puzzle, has cracked your code, you're going to get more of the same. You're going to get Mayweather dominance here. That dominance took place from the first round because Mayweather didn't have a learning curve in this rematch. The first time around, Marcus Maidana was unfamiliar to him. This time around, Maidana knew exactly what to expect. And let's talk about what that was. Marcus Maidana is hyper-aggressive. That's why the fans love him. He comes in, he's a fighter more than a boxer. He wants to get close to you. He wants to hurt you. Right? That's who he is. He's great when he backs you up against the ropes and you have nowhere to go. Right? That's when he can bully you with wide punches from creative angles. Right? His right hand, he can raise his right hand up here and then come down almost on the top of your head right he hits hard from distance he does have a straight left jab but understand where he was completely outmatched in this fight right because boxing really is the sweet science it's not fighting it's actually an art form right here Madonna knew he couldn't match Mayweather in hand speed. He couldn't match Mayweather in well-placed lead punches. Right? The only thing Madonna throws straight is that left jab. Madonna understood he couldn't throw straight power punches. His punches were going to have a loop on them. So Madonna came in lighter. Right? But understand, the lightness, while it may have added you know, a little bit of quickness or mobility, that that lightness didn't straighten his punches. That lightness didn't remove the defects in his game. Perhaps the biggest is Marcus Maidana has a problem hitting a moving target. Right? That's why Marcus Maidana really can't box in the middle of the ring. He also doesn't have a straight long right hand. Right? So when Floyd Mayweather is in front of him, there are no quick straight punches that are gonna hit and hurt Floyd. Right? Madonna's jab, it's not a Vladimir Klitschko jab. It's more of a distraction than a power punch. And Madonna's right hand, he has to loop it. Understand, that gives a defensive wizard like Floyd the opportunity to lean away from the loop or lean inside of the loop. Right? Also, let's be clear here. Madonna was dropped off of a body shot by Amir Khan. I believe... Madonna doesn't like to get hit in the body. He has a tender body. So that's why he's bent over and biting Floyd's hand. Right? You know, he has to bend over to try to protect his body. Now compare and contrast a fighter like this with Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather has a hard, it's a hard, straight right hand. Understand, Mayweather can hit moving targets and stationary targets. Mayweather himself is moving. Right? Understand, Mayweather in the middle of the ring has the footwork down. 
to where he's not directly in front of you when you're throwing punches. Mayweather's straight right hand, he can also drop down and throw that to the body. Right? Mayweather has a great left hook. Check left hook. But Mayweather can also straighten the left hand. Mayweather can bend. Mayweather can throw that left hand to the body. And Mayweather's left hook to the body is lethal. Right? There was a boxing skill gap here to the point where Mayweather understood as he moved. Madonna couldn't throw punches. Understand part of defense isn't just blocking shots. It's putting the other guy in situations where the other guy can't even throw punches. Look at the difference in the punch count numbers between the first fight and this fight. Understand too, if you met these guys in a bar, I'm sure Marcus Maidana comes across as more of the gunslinger. Right? Again, boxing's an art. Right? This isn't just, you know, who's the baddest man in the bar. Understand, you have a lot of bar fighters who'd make terrible boxers. Right? Understand, too, Floyd Mayweather. You know, in the middle of the ring, you know, moving around, right? When Mayweather wants to shift his balance and throw power punches, he can. If you go back and look at, I believe it's the very first round, Mayweather actually tries to end the fight. He throws a hellacious left hook. He literally is going for it. But he does so out of a construct where he's able to defend himself. He's not all in leaving himself open to counters. Right? Let me point out too, there were moments where Marcus Madonna had a shot on Floyd Mayweather. Where he would start to back Mayweather up to the corner. But time and time again, and this is what separates good fighters from great fighters, Mayweather was able to take a step forward, tie up Marcus Maidana. This happens repeatedly. The great fighters don't allow themselves to get tied up. I encourage you to go back in time and look at films of Mike McCallum. Great fighters will see a guy trying to tie them up and will move away, will knock down hands. Right? Marcus Maidana allows Floyd to tie him up repeatedly. And then Floyd is able to turn him. Literally, during the clinch, just turn him. Put Maidana up against the ropes. And then Floyd's able to be in the middle of the ring where he wanted to be. Understand, too. Marcus Maidana isn't that great at cutting off the ring. There are times where he has Floyd between himself and the ropes. Now, guys who know how to cut off the ring would cut off one avenue, right? Not allow Mayweather to go east and west, but would force Mayweather to just go west and then would pick the angle. So Mayweather ends up cornered. Marcus Maidana doesn't have the balance to do that. So you had situations where Mayweather's between Maidana and the ropes and Floyd is going east and west, east and west, east and west and Maidana couldn't land any flush shots. Right? Let me say, Adrian Broner against Marcus Maidana was there in front of him because Broner, simply put, is not as mobile as Floyd Mayweather. Right? Broner doesn't bend at the waist like Floyd Mayweather. Right? Broner has a slapping left hook, not the surgical bomb of a left hook that Floyd Mayweather has. Right? And so, let me just say, Marcus Maidana, of course, had to start resorting to things like biting gloves, 
first fight, he deliberately, in my opinion, threw several low blows. Understand, Kenny Bayless was villaging. He may have missed the bite, and it clearly looks like a bite on film. Right? He may have missed the bite, but Kenny Bayless wasn't going to allow the roughhouse tactics over by the ropes. And understand, if Marcus Maidana isn't overpowering you up by the ropes, he's simply not as effective. Now let's talk briefly about Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao. By the way, I believe Mayweather wins that fight too. But understand Pacquiao's left hand, Pacquiao's a southpaw, is straight. Right? It's straight. Understand, like Mayweather, Pacquiao wants to be in the middle of the ring. He doesn't want to spend a lot of time on the ropes. He wants to be in the middle of the ring. Right? Unlike Marcus Maidana, who is a statue by comparison, Pacquiao moves well. Pacquiao has some of the best legs in the sport. Right? So that fight would have a vastly different dynamic than this fight. In fact, one of the things with Manny Pacquiao is I believe opponents start to reach for Pacquiao, right? Because Pacquiao's a little bit shorter and he's blindingly fast. So guys start to reach for Pacquiao and Pacquiao wants that. Because then Pacquiao can come straight forward and hit you with very hard loaded left hands. The problem is a skilled boxer Juan Manuel Marquez can actually lay traps, right? And if you force Pacquiao to fight you, things start to fall apart, right? I view a Manny Pacquiao-Floyd fight as much more interesting than a Marcus Maidana-Floyd fight. Understand, before this fight took place, the rematch, I said Floyd was being protected because the gap between the two guys is so obvious, right? Maidana's a strong guy who wings wild punches, who's not playing the same chess game that Floyd Mayweather is. What I want you to do is to look at the first two rounds of this fight. You're going to see Floyd trying to set up power shots. He comes this close to seriously hurting Maidana early, right? He didn't get the knockdown. So we overlook it, right? We just look through the fight and stuff. But understand, Mayweather, out of his shell, is throwing very hard punches. And he's reading movement to the point where, as he commits to throw the punch, he knows. Marcus Maidana, at that moment, is not in a position to throw anything back. Right? Don't underestimate the role that positioning plays in the sweet science. Don't underestimate the role that cadence, rhythm, plays in the sweet science. Right? Picking spots where the other guy is unprepared to fire punches back. Right? I thought this was a masterful performance. As I said in the pre-fight video, if Mayweather just kept the fight more in the middle of the ring, this was going to be a mismatch, and it was. Right, so as I see it, Floyd, you owe us one here on YouTube. You had a layup fight where you made more than $30 million against a clearly overmatched opponent. Right, style-wise, style-wise, Floyd would have more problems with a Manny Pacquiao, with an Amir Khan. Understand, too. They're trying to tell us that this fight was also for the title at 154. Right? That opens the door to people like Arislandi Lara. Right? These are the kind of fights that someone who enters the ring with a TBE hat on needs to fight. Right? I believe Floyd is one of the very best ever. Right, but if he's going to prove that, especially at 37 or 38 years old, rather than rest on his laurels, he's going to have to fight some very tough guys. 
right? Mayweather says he only has two fights left. Please, no more rematches against guys like Marcus Maidana, right? We've seen the Canelo fight. Although that fight was a cash cow, we know how that fight ends, right? No rematches against Canelo, right? Give us a fight against a guy who has hand speed, right? From a southpaw stance, a Manny Pacquiao. Or give us a fight from a guy who has length and hand speed and legs, right? Amir Khan. Or give us a fight from a guy who, quite frankly, has earned the right to fight the very best at 147 pounds. Keith Thurman, right? Quite frankly, I feel that guys like Danny Garcia would just be completely out classed by Floyd Mayweather, right? I think if Mayweather wants to go out with a splash, he has to try to track down big names, right? Let me also say this too. You have other Hall of Famers out there who I'm sure would be willing to fight at a catch weight between 154 and 160, right? I personally would love to see a fight between Floyd and Sergio Martinez, right? I think that's an intriguing fight, right? If Floyd really wants to throw caution to the wind, have Gennady Golovkin lose some weight, fight Floyd, right? But please, no more Marcus Maidana's on the draft card, right? I know, I understand that boxing's a business, and that this fight sold tickets. I understand that there are a lot of fans who demanded to see the rematch. Now we've seen the rematch. You knew this fight was over the minute you saw the first two rounds of the fight and you realized there were going to be no moments where Marcus Maidana runs over, throws a lot of punches that don't land, and the crowd goes wild. Right? Straighter punches get there first. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. If you're going to fight Floyd Mayweather, you need hand speed. You need to be able to operate in the middle of the ring, right? You also need foot speed, right? You need to be versed on positioning. You need to give Floyd something to think about when he stands in front of you. He has to feel that there's the danger of something straight and fast coming at him. If you remove that danger, you get the fight we just saw. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.